at this toasty fire. All right, Justine, we've checked out the backyard. Yeah. And uh, I think it's time to introduce you to the master chef of the, uh, oh, the residence. Oh, really? This is Meet Dad. This is Joey. Joey, nice to meet you. I heard Hi, you are definitely a master chef. Uh, bush cook. Bush, bush cook, cook. Yeah, master bush chef. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to cook for me tonight? We're doing a uh, kangaroo cacciatore. We've got some fresh mm. kangaroo um, fillet there. Yep. With some nice vegetables. There it is there. It's nice mm. and tender. It won't take long to cook. Yeah, a little bit of fat on it too, so it doesn't dry out. That's in the right. Cooking. A little bit of fat can also help again. And then we'll just introduce the vegetables bit by bit. So the vegetables that take longer to cook, for example, you put your potatoes in first mm -hmm. and then your carrots after that, onions and then all your yeah. soft things. Well, you are a easy. bit of a master chef. So. It's very easy. <laughs> well, I'll leave Brilliant. you guys in peace all and right. I'll come back and I'm looking forward to some good tucker. Fantastic. See, See you right. later. Okay. Yeah. All right, Joey, how can I help you? First thing, Joss, is um, open up the beer for us. Well, I'm good at that, so there's the beer. Bush Tucker beer. Bush Tucker beer. Our Red Devil beer. Nice. It's the most popular beer in Central Australia. Is it? My God, What yeah. makes it different to uh, your average beer? Our very own Kwandong. Wow. Yeah. Kwandong's a bush uh, fruit here. It's a peach fruit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we add it to our beer, and it's very, very popular. Yeah. It's got a nice little... Mm. Citrusy taste. That has a really, you're right, a citrusy flavour to it. It's delicious. It's very nice. I shouldn't drink too much of it because you're going to use it, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be using these beautiful camp ovens. Yep. I'm going to go over now. Yep. And I'm just going to make a well over here. Mm -hmm. What time do you start that fire? Oh, that's fire's been going for about two hours two now. Two hours, yep. And our best heat isn't these yellow flames, but the coals that we're going to generate here. Nice. Around the fire. So first of all is the uh, Red Devil... Um, Bush beer. Beer, thank for you. you. And it just goes straight in there. Just you cooking off the alcohol of it first. Yeah, it, it's just preparing the, the pot more than else for the uh, kangaroo. See how it's nicely bubbling yeah. away there? Yeah. That's a good sign. So it's reducing as well. I hope you've got a few more of these afterwards to go with it. We sure have. <laughs> we can have a couple of those uh, <laughs> with some damper. It'll be very nice. nice so now we're ready for the uh, kangaroo, kangaroo, please, I'll Jess. Get that. Yep. And it goes in. It's a beautiful lean kangaroo. Yeah. You could do something similar with kangaroo tail, but kangaroo yeah. tail takes a lot longer yep. to prepare. Right, uh, just let's uh, have a spoon, the big spoon, please, yep. and maybe bring some vegetables uh, two at a time. Okay. Fantastic. All right. There's a spoon for you. Thank you. I love um, stews like this because you put everything in there. You've got your veggies, your meat, the sauce. It's all one pot. That looks so, great. So beautiful that's, colours. That's going to take. A little bit more liquid now, yep. so let's get some uh, some of these vegetables underwater. Yep. Fantastic. Nice. And then the garlic and the onions can go in. Yep. Nice. Like so. And then uh, put in our uh, tomatoes. So it's and the beauty of this, of course, is that you're going to get that smoky flavour in the food. Yeah. That you won't normally get. No, you know? not at all. Yeah. So this is almost at the point where you just simply. Put the rest of the um, ingredients in. Some mushies. So the mushies can uh, can go in. Yep. Like so. And a bit of tomato. This is more of a thickener, and it just enhances yeah. the tomato flavour more than anything else. Yep. So a couple of spoons of that is is, is plenty. Nice big like bold that. flavours there. Yeah. Yep. And to finish that off, it's just a little bit of uh, corn flour mm -hmm. to thicken it up. Okay. So I just pour that just gently over the top. And it seems like quite a lot of liquid, but no, when this cooks down, it's going to be thick and rich. It, it'll be reduced, yep. yes, that's right. Yes, Perfect. Right. Well, we're going to put the lid on that. How long do you like to cook that for, Joey? At least, uh, you know, half an hour to 45 yep. minutes. It all depends on your coals. So slow cooking is the best. You can see the colour of the yeah. kangaroo now getting softer. Nice. Um, so the best way of knowing, really, is by actually tasting one of the uh, vegetables, mm. particularly the carrots, yep. and that becomes an indicator of um, whether it's cooked or not. Beautiful. So we just need some condiments. Yep. Salt and pepper. Salt, I have it for you right here. Come prepare with some just salt. To, just be a little bit generous with the salt. Yeah, I like a lot of salt, so there like you go. <laughs> And one for Justine. There yeah, you go. lovely. Pepper. Be fairly generous with yeah. the pepper as well. Nice. We've got the garlic. I can already smell that. Yeah, it's I was coming about to up. say that. It smells it's delicious. Coming quite well. Thank you. Okay, now, and then when, once that uh, is done, yep. we'll uh, have some damp to go with it, and away we go. All right, well, I'm going to do the dishes for you while yeah. you get a few cold beers. You beauty. So we're in action. We've got a party going. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, damper has come out of the camp oven. Look how crispy it is. It's going to be a good one, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. And it's going to taste even better with your delicious stew. Kangaroo stew. Oh, Shall we have a go? Yeah, absolutely. Yum. Mushrooms and everything else. Thank you, Joey. Do the same here. Yum. We've made enough to feed a, an a, army. <laughs> feed a mob or two. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Go. All right, let's dig in. Kangaroo stew. Kangaroo stew a la and Uncle Joey. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's good. It, it's perfect, isn't it? Mm. You can taste the mushrooms through it. Yeah. Mm. I love kangaroo. I think we should be eating more of it. We certainly should. Mm. And there's millions of them out there. Mm. And we should be, because the most clean meat you can buy is fantastic. Mm. And I'm going to grab... Some damper? A bit of damper. Yep. So hot. I'm just going to break it down there. Oh, look at that. One for you. There you go. Thank you. And then I'm just going to break this little bit off here. Oh, it smells great. And that's what I like mm. doing. Ducking it like a, like a donut. Oh, you know what? We're going to get along very well because I love sauce and you've put mm. so much sauce in this kangaroo stew. Joey, this place is so special. Mount Andulia behind us, the sun going down, the different colours. To what sunsets here are out of this world. They're sensational. This stew, bit of damper, your beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm.